Moment mal ein bisschen Platz sein und wir gehen jetzt auf ein Slide von Alu. My name is Jacob Korn. Uh, I'm a professor in the Institute of Molecular Health Sciences. Um, I started at ETH about two years, year and a half ago. Um, I came here from UC Berkeley where I was uh, founding scientific director of an institute and faculty. And what my lab works on is a technology called genome editing. And in genome editing, we try to help cells help themselves. So you may have heard of CRISPR-Cas, which is a genome editing technology, and this is the enzyme that does it. In white is the protein, Cas enzyme, that does the actual editing itself. It's directed towards genomes, towards DNA, which is in blue here, by something called the guide RNA. And the guide RNA is this bit in orange. You can see that Cas wraps all the way around it and all comes inside here. And Cas uses the guide RNA to bind to this genome and make a cut inside the genome. And then the cell takes care of that cut by making a genome edit. So we try to ask in the lab all kinds of things, from how the cells fix their genomes to trying to help clinicians come up with proof of concept ways to be able to cure genetic diseases. I teach in the medical genetics course, which is a first year course. Um, I focus on fundamentals of how cells copy their genomes, make RNA, make proteins, sort of how they live their lives and how that kind of goes wrong sometimes when you have problems like cancer. Um, I also teach in the genetics course in the fourth semester in which we dive a lot more into what is genetics? What does it mean when you say something is recessive, etc.? You, you might have heard of this in high school equivalent, but uh, we talk a lot more about um, how does this go wrong? How do you know where problems are? And what are modern techniques that people use to try to do things like find genetic variants and fix them? I'm Lily van der Beek. I'm a PhD student here at Jacob Korn's lab. And um, I'm originally from Germany, but I moved here ages ago and I did all my studies here at ETH. So I'm Charles Ye, and I'm one of the PhD students that came with Jacob from Berkeley, California to ETH when we moved here. I work in genomics, specifically DNA repair, and this topic area involves quite a few different skills. Again, it's mostly DNA focused, uh, but it also involves some informatics, computer related work to analyze these huge data sets that come out of what is known as next generation sequencing. When we use molecular biology tools, it usually looks like we're pipetting very small amounts of water into bigger amounts of water. And um, it kind of looks like we're not, not doing much, but there's definitely something in there. <laughs> you said you studied also um, during your bachelor's and master's in the ETH. So what um, important thing did you learn during your bachelor that helps you now that you're a PhD? So first of all, I think that um, the basic education at uh, the bachelor's level was really good. We got a very nice basis that we can build knowledge upon. We had the opportunity to work on our own projects and also get to know different research fields. And this is really what um, motivated me to stay in science and do my PhD and also what helped me decide what I actually want to do in the end. So thank you for showing me around. Thank you for coming by and having an interest in the lab. Yeah, thank you for coming by and we hope to see you around soon.